UMTS Network Topology. GSM versus UMTS. There are great differences between GSM and UMTS in their technical specifications. For example, wide band coding versus TDMA, FDMA, the protocols, and many more. However, the core networks of each are very similar, with UMTS having a more robust packet switching component. Operation and Support System, OSS. This provides the centralized control over all the equipment in the switching system and RNC. Its important functionality includes overall monitoring and maintenance support for activities crucial to disparate organizational groups. Mobile Services Switching Center and the Visitor Location Register, the MSC VLR. This performs the telephony switching functions and controls calls to and from other telephone and data systems. It also manages toll ticketing, network interfacing, and common channel signaling. The VLR database contains temporary subscriber information required by the MSC and always co-located. Home Location Register and the Authentication Center, HLR and AUC. It's a permanent database storing subscriber's service profile, location information, and activity status. The HLR can be co-located with the MSC VLR or as a standalone node. The AUC provides authentication and encryption services for user verification and confidentiality. The Gateway MSC. It's the node that interconnects other networks. For example, our wireless network and another wireless carrier or a landline telephone network. The Serving GPRS Support Node, or SGSN. It's responsible for routing data packets, managing mobility, and authentication within its service area. It maintains service information such as active VLR, current serving cell, and MZ on all registered users. The Gateway GPRS Support Node, or GGSN. It's responsible for connecting the wireless GPRS network and the external data networks. The GGSN routes external packets to the mobile user's SGSN, while it also routes mobile-originated packets to the appropriate external network. The Universal Terrestrial Radio Access Network, UTRAN. It's the collection of node Bs and RNCs that compose the radio network. One RNC and all its node Bs are known as one RNS, Radio Network Subsystem. The Radio Network Controller, RNC, man manages radio resources and mobility, among other things, for the node Bs attached to it. It acts as the interface between the user equipment and the core network. It also connects to the SGSN for packet switching and the MSC VLR for sw circuit switching. Node B. It maintains the air interface between the mobile devices. The equipment consists of antennas and transceivers needed for each sector of the site. Many node Bs are served by one RNC. Inter-radio access technology. UMTS networks are compatible with legacy networks like GSM. These are known as IRAT networks. Mobiles are able to transition between the networks even while on a call or in a data session. Public Switch Telephone Network, PSTN. The worldwide conglomeration of circuit switch telephone networks, it interfaces with the Gateway MSC. Public Land Mobile Network, PLMN, other wireless carrier networks, and it also interfaces with the Gateway MSC. Packet Switch Public Data Network, interfaces with the GGSN for packet switching. And now up PCS. Using the RF optimization tool, OpTCS, we can examine the UMTS network in more detail.
we will focus our attention more on the radio network subsystems containing the RNC and Node B components for RF engineering, and less on the core network. Here a thematic map shows the RNC boundaries of a network and the Node Bs contained within. What should be noted is that although an RNC may contain few or many Node Bs, the total capacity of the combined Node Bs will be a limiting factor for the total number of Node Bs served by a single RNC. For example, there are some RNCs presented here with many sites, and some other RNCs by comparison with very few. The location of the RNCs with very few sites will undoubtedly be a high traffic urban area, which will normally be presented visually as sites clustered together in a small area, as opposed to suburban or rural morphology where sites are separated by much greater distances. On an individual cell basis, we can see the configuration of network parameters like frequency band, antenna type, downlink uplink channels, power, reselection, and handover parameters, as well as UMTS neighbors and IRAT neighbors. Visualization of various parameters is also very easy on PCS. For instance, we can map many configuration and network parameters, like the number of neighbor cells, power, and mechanical tilt. Properly defined neighbor relations are critical to the success of the UMTS network. Depending on the wireless provider, they may have up to four radio network channels deployed in a market. This means you can have intra-band, inter-band, and IRAT neighbor relationships across the radio spectrum. Being able to visualize this complex relationship is key to optimizing the UMTS network for successful retainability and mobility. Check back with more topics on GSM, UMTS, and LTE.